Hey guys, good long way back. I'm Aaron. Eric. And we are back with Chuck. Last time on Chuck. Show kind of wrapped up. Everything just kind of ended. So, I'm happy. I don't know. I, next time on Chuck could be anything. It, it could be, could yeah. be. Like, we had a baby born. Yep. We had the mother rescued. Took care of Volkov. Volkov was arrested. Yeah. Um, Chuck came onto his own. Yeah, they used a chopper. Yep. Orion came back. Ring. The ring didn't come back. He gave a ring to Sarah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. There was a ring and an engagement thingy finally happened in there. Yeah. So, um, I did look and... There, there was no gap between this and the next episode, so there wasn't really? like a huh. mid-season break or anything like that. Okay. They just kept on going. So yeah. That's just how it ended. The, that was pod one of the season. Now to pod two, I guess. Pod two. That's very exciting. Ron Montgomery. <gasps> Hello, Ron. <gasps> Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Taken out by the girls. Oh. <laughs> no one in this place cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> you know, speaking of which, Alex, you know, there's something I want to tell you, talk to you about. Hold on. Wow, it's all good. We're great. Alex isn't pregnant. I just love the chanting. I don't know just, why. She wants me to meet her mom. She wants me to meet her mom. <laughs> the only thing is, I feel kind of uncomfortable. Wow. It's a habit. I'm actually sweating. The last time I sweat, there was gunfire involved. We need a mission. We need a story. <laughs> oh my god, I want to do this right now. Let's find find something that shoots at us. General Beckman and Ron Montgomery have a bit of a history. Their romance has been going on for decades. Historic events happen when those two are together. Berlin '89, Iraq '91, Florida '2000. Which is why we better go get him. What happened in Florida 2000? I have possible references for all those dates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. But. I have a proposition for you. Okay. What if we eloped? Hmm. So, what if we. Just, just tell them to butt out and plan it yourself. Some... Yeah. You'd They'll respect it. Mm, maybe. Oh, they will. Stress and pressure. Met Morgan? I have. I'm not. Morgan, I'm not factoring in. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Chuck, do you want some water? Uh, you know what? No. No. <laughs> it's practice enough. Yep. By the way, for the record, I will not at any point during this mission be dressing as a belly dancer. What if you need to do it for our country? I'm sure America can handle it. Aww. By the way, if you're into the Moroccan thing, we can always elope here. Stop, stop, son. But man, it is dusty. Get out of here. Let's just take a bottle of milk. Grab a rope and fail out the window. Okay, copy that. You good, Chuck? Um. No. No. <laughs> no? Yeah, no. I. But. But nothing. Okay, I said no. Oh my God, Chuck! <laughs> she is shocked as hell. <gasps> you did not say woman. Not the worst vice in the world. Shoot! <laughs> Take them all to the dungeon. Uh, of course, you got a dungeon. What were they doing bouncing up there? All the clothes are on. What the hell is going on? You are so innocent, huh? No, or not boring. More than ever. So no, my answer to eloping is no. Okay, fine. I hear what you're saying. But why do you get to say no? What about what I want? Just say that you're part of your family, can't be part of the planet. That's all you have to do. That's what's freaking her out. Is it? Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? Uh -huh. That's what I saw. <laughs> That's what I saw. All these women soldiers prepared to kill. <coughs> Any man that comes by, look at this guy. The girl. This is like the John Casey of female soldiers. I'm gonna seduce my way past her. The man who flew my course at the farm twice? Casey, that's not a very good idea. Do you have a gun or some explosives? Yeah, because you're terrible at seduction, you have no finesse! That's great line reading. Lovely weapon you have there. 
go. Who <laughs> doesn't? Come on, yes. You must get awfully lonely down here. You're hearty. <laughs> see why they didn't assign one of those skinny ones down here. Uh, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> One of the skinny ones. What was he thinking? <laughs> really? Back to the city, might try that. Tell Morgan I'll be back in a week or two. See ya. He lived in the walls like he did in that one Chris Rickon place. Mm hmm. <laughs> Living in the walls, tracking movements. The first thing I teach my students at the farm is when you want to convince an intimate relation, you have to set the scene for the conversation, create an erotic atmosphere. A sexy situation. Yes, but don't say it like that. <laughs> Everything is easier with sex. Now, I'm going to need a suit. <laughs> suit. <laughs> oh my god. Look at him. Yeah. All right, well, listen, I made us a reservation at this place, so. <laughs> uh, just throw on a little something, huh? And... Sarah? She's doing the same thing. Rock and belly dancer. Hi, Chuck. Hello. I'm sorry. Did you want to go to Morocco? Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now just imagine. Did she talked to Roan too. A white wedding dress in LA with all the family. Mm. Sound like fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, camera operator has to pick. I'll have my job. What shots do I get? Chuck. Yeah, we, need, we need a lot of uh, coverage. <laughs> yeah. But you aim here. No. You're using Roan's methods, sexy situations, erotic atmospheres. You're trying to seduce me. Why are you wearing that outfit? Well, I'm trying to seduce you too, just not clearly as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should change then. Why? Why'd you ever say that? I'm not saying I want to change. I want, to, I want you to stay, you know, but always, always be in whatever you're wearing right now. Always, always be in whatever you're wearing right now. Always change red. It gives me great pleasure to announce that we have been able to produce more notes than originally anticipated for a grand total of one trillion dollars. What are we going to do with one trillion dollars? to each other. Never go on a mission. Anger. Oh. My general. Who is impatient? Get the location of the mint room. Takes time to seduce. All this interpersonal stuff on a mission. It's very unprofessional. I know. I don't want to fight. Me neither. Chuck is always bringing personal stuff on his mission. Every mission! It happens once in a while. Every time! Sometimes. The American economy will collapse, and it will be my little village that brought them down. That is a huge Because you told me what the village is called. Setua. Is that right? Fermulon. Yes. Ulysses? Of course. This is Beck. Authorization 8485, Charlie. Initiate airstrike we'll sending village. rig coordinates now. We did it! <laughs> Get Casey out. Take one step to the left. Uh, yes, I answer to that. What do we do? Kill him. 
He shot like this. Yeah. I mean, he was like so aiming. hard to aim. Yeah, he's like. Thank you, Ron. Oh, one more thing. Yes. Holy Duck! shit! <laughs> that little woman had a bazooka. <laughs> Is he alive? You shot an RPG! We got him, General. He's right here. <laughs> that rocket was as big as her. It was! Are you okay? She's happy now. I mean, she's with somebody. He's protected us. He's Martowski. <laughs> Tell me about the agent who kissed you awake on the secret mission. Oh. He was a big romantic. And the greatest husband there ever was. Aww. Sir, you've done so much to help my family. How can I help yours? Different. I mean, we've met her father. Sir, come on. It's our job to take yeah, care he's of a the world's guy. biggest uh -huh. problems. As the future Mr. Sarah Walker, can't I get to know you better? It totally did. Ba -da -da. Okay, it wasn't just me. Yeah. I've been hearing that in other stuff, so. <laughs> no. That was definitely, it sounded like Terminator. I thought the same thing. And then I was thinking, oh, Lindley Hamilton, huh? Yeah, but. true. It, it was, yeah, it was, and it sounded, it was just, I didn't notice it until I heard that, like it was like yeah. this longer note. I'm like, that's like Terminator. That's weird. But, yeah. All right. Well, so there you go. Yep. So what do you think? Was it just about eloping in his family? <laughs> I was I mean, listening, that's what she said. I mean, it's kind of compromising talking to him, you know? <laughs> I mean, he, you know, he was like, he was also like, man, this is crazy. We got, you know, let's go on a mission, get away from the family and stuff, you know? Like, Chuck was saying his stuff, she needed to say her stuff. I mean, that's her thing, but just about talk. I mean, every single problem they have is they just need to talk it out. If they have a problem, they didn't just be like, oh yeah, we should talk about this, and that, that solves it. Seems to be what it is. They, they usually do that on missions, and it's a good time. Bad time. Terrible time. Do that act. What? It seemed to work. Casey must <laughs> lost an arm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love how he, like, how does he manage to, like, he put a gun over here in a hole. Yes. And then shot four people. Yes. Like, that's crazy. That's got to be crazy hard. You couldn't name that way. Like, I feel like I do pretty good at this. You are. I'm trying to imagine, like, if I had my Nerf gun, like, could I shoot accurately, like... With your Nerf gun, you it wouldn't be accurate, but it would be a lot easier than the it. recoil of an actual. Yeah, but he had it gun. in the wall, so maybe yeah. his recoil's not so bad. Like you know, it, it looks cool in the movies, but aiming two guns like this, as soon as you start, you know, the recoil hits, you're off your sight. That's why you need to have that second one and line up down your arm. Doing it like this is like impossible to aim, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's my that's my thing is the aiming of it. Yeah, it's just because it's. But it was cool. And it's John Casey. I believe anybody has the, the forearm him, strength right? to do it. It's him. Yeah. That's, that's, his, so. that's his forte. I just it's... love that he was back in the walls. That was my favorite line from like almost all of Chuck was like, I lived in the wall for you know, two months or whatever. Yeah. Angel de muerte or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Angel de, mu de muerte. Yeah. yeah. I love so his, his seduction. <laughs> Like, it starts working so well. Yeah. This is my kind of girl. And even I had said, like, she that's like, like the John Casey of this, like, yeah, it was. female army. It's like, I see why I don't bring one of the skinny ones down. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! The hardy one was, like, on the line, I felt like. Like, God, you're hardy. Yeah. It was like, what do you mean by that? But then he 
yeah. doubled down on the skinny line. I'm like, ah, you should have stayed with Hardy. You should have stayed with Hardy. If anything, he went closer to, like, Morgan <laughs> than he did conventional <laughs> yeah. Casey there. He did. But that was funny. But, man, Beckham with the, arp, with the rocket propel grenade, man. That was fucking crazy. I, like, I... There had to have been a reason, like, they had her, like, there on site, you know, because, like, huh, we never seen her like this. And then, holy shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <coughs> so they said about Roan and uh, Beckman having history history and stuff, yeah. and they named off stuff. So we, we saw that Berlin 89, like, Wait, the Berlin Wall thing. Uh-huh. So most likely that's what, like, we already know what that one is. Okay. The other one, he said Iraq 91. Which in January of '91 was uh, Desert Storm. Desert started Storm and the liberation of Kuwait. Okay. Florida 2000. The thing that was popping up for that was the Supreme Court recounting George Bush versus Al Gore. I was gonna say that's the only thing I can think and, of at that time. And, yeah. Like other gotcha. than, other than that, like I don't know what else it could be huh. there. Okay. So now were they responsible for any of this kind yeah. of stuff? I mean, I don't know if they were responsible for the Berlin Wall, but yeah. they were there sure. <laughs> together, and the Berlin yeah. Wall thing was going on. I can on, actually so. remember the recount thing with Gore. Uh, do you remember that at all? Not really. Yeah. I'm I can remember ready. it happening. I remember being on, like, you know, listening to the news, being like, the state of Florida is a disgrace! <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. I remember it happening. I feel like there's always recount issues. Every election, everyone's yeah. always like, ah. But that about? was a big one in the sense that they recounted, and it, it could literally, like, it was after, like, a winner had been decided, and that could change the outcome, you know? That was yeah. a big one. No, I, I don't think I really started looking and following politics too much until, like, yeah. I think Obama's first. Sure. Term, like, hit him being elected. Yeah. And I never followed it either, but it was just all over the place. I remember that, you know? So. Yeah, I would have been 10, 11, somewhere in there. In the year 2000? Yeah. Because I was born in 89. So, yeah, I'd have been, like, 11 probably. Yeah, I'd be in like sixth grade or so, seventh maybe. I love that Diane's birthday present was just a tracker. It was the birthday present, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but Jesus, man, that fucking belly dance scene. The belly dancing? It went on a long time. It went on for a little bit. The camera people were getting their shots that they needed for that. And they got their coverage. They got a good bit of coverage. There was a lot, there was a lot of coverage different things and she was not that much coverage she's doing pretty good dancing yeah sure <laughs> yes uh <laughs> chocolate you know what ron said don't don't take it off don't ever take it off don't ever not be wearing it <laughs> i love her she's like wait wait you're doing the seduction thing yeah. that ron did she goes well, what are you doing well i'm doing it too but not as well and she's like oh yeah <laughs> i'm like you're both doing it to each other yeah both you guys are like mad at the other exactly. one for doing it and you're both doing it yeah so yeah we've <laughs> met her father, who was the uh, con man. Yeah, he was right? a con man. I don't remember anything with her mom. <coughs> no. Maybe we can go into Does there. It, the only, the only people we've seen really from her past would have been her dad, and then there was uh, uh, the the high school. Uh, damn it, Richie. Oh, Nicole Richie. Nicole yeah. Richie. Like that was like from her past when yeah. she was in school. Um, and then eventually when the dad like got arrested in that flashback, we saw the one there was General Beckman, and then there was like was the other guy a general? I don't know who, remember remember him? Like back in season one? Oh yeah, and Zoom. He, yeah, the voice of Zoom, yeah, the right? Voice of Zoom. Yeah. yeah. Like there was him. Yeah, uh, NSA. And he like recruited her. Yeah. But like besides that, like we haven't seen a lot of her past. Yeah. And then you have uh uh what was her name? I wanna say like Tatiana or Ka Ka Katrina. Or something like that. Yes. Who's like knows her, but she, even still, like, we don't even know how far back they go. They mm -hmm. seem to be more like spy friends rather than like yeah. any true history back there, you know? So I don't think we've seen much else from her past or anything. No, I don't think so. I mean, but we saw like, again, uh, I don't, uh, Sarah Walker's not a real name, too, right? Um, her, oh, damn, what was her last name? What was her name like Samantha? Burton? Or Burton? Is that right? I don't know. I got my notes somewhere, but I got a lot of notes for this episode. Yes. Yeah. They say her real last name in the first Richie, Nicole Richie episode. Gotcha. Um, Katrina Law. Remember she was in this? Katrina Law. Yep. From Spartacus? Yep. You didn't recognize this Spartacus person, huh? Mm-mm. Who was it? Uh, F F Fati F Fatima? Yeah. Uh, was Na Naivia? 
and she's in season one and two of or season one in the prequel of it she was like one of the servant girls and like mm. whatever like the slave girls but she was oh, oh. so I was looking up so I was like well who's in this one is she yeah. is it a spy person or anything sure um so if she was in Spartacus as a servant, I'd probably... Oh, she was Crixus's girl, right? I believe so. And then eventually she turns into... Yeah, they... Her. Yeah, they recasted, so they recasted her. Okay, so she is the first <laughs> I don't know of you Crixus's it. love. Former slave of House of Bartia- Batiatis. Yeah, uh, Batiatis. N-A-E-V-I-A. I don't know how you say it. Nevia. Nevia. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I Okay, I, I guess I recognize that now, yeah. So... so. Yep. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's who that was. she was as bare. She was as Spartacus. Maybe I would have recognized her because, yeah. Spartacus shows and stuff. Spartacus is a great show, but it was very much stars wanting me like, all right, let's have, let's have some shit people we're gonna be watching for a while. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, fun episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, I guess we'll be having the finale be more of like the wedding. Is what I'm leaning towards the wedding. That seems to be the overall. Like they said, there's no like antagonist right now. You know, there's yeah. no ring or, uh, you know, whatever. So yeah. Volkov well, there was a ring. Or, well, yes. There is a ring. There is a ring. Yeah, but is that ring gonna? Is that gonna be the the, the ultimate goal we're going for for the season? Sure. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like with the mom, you know, I don't know. I I kind of think that she deserves to have a kind of like a more, more normal life. Like I, I suppose if she is like missing spy work and stuff, but like. She just got back from, like, a 20-year mission. Like, yeah. I would take the year off. They kind of touched here a little bit, too, of, like, you know, she, she, uh, Ellie's like, you know, I made Chuck give up the CIA. Yeah. So there's still, like, that kind of thing going yeah. on where it's like, is yep. there... They can never be truthful to Ellie. The best person on the show. <laughs> sure. I, I will say, too, when they're talking, uh, Linda and Ellie, mm-hmm. like, there's something about, like, the way that both look that I'm like, I could see her being her daughter. <laughs> Yeah, like the way their hair is. Sure. I don't know, like if you squint, you can kind of see it, yeah. or if you just look at the giant blur on her face that makes it so you can't d- really define how she actually looks. It was extremely terrible in that scene, this episode. I I, I seen it like here. It was literally blurring like over one like half her eye at one point. Over half her eye. Yeah. What? It was real bad. Oh, well, I don't know. Real bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the choices are for it. Not sure. I tried looking stuff up. Yep. I can't find any information about it. Crack some kind of code. I don't know, but there was people talking about it. Like, well, back you know, back in the flashbacks, makes sense. They're probably trying to make her look younger, and they don't have what they have today. It's every, it's every scene she's. And it's like, well, yeah, it seems to be the the more modern episode stuff too. Yep. So I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. Maybe there's an answer to it in the long run. Maybe. <laughs> How could the answer be? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this episode of Chuck with us. If you want to see the next reaction, you can go over to patreon.com slash biowave and watch it right now. We also have full length available over there. Make sure you subscribe for new videos every single day. Thank you. Bye-bye.